Well, the old farts are finally back together again. <laughs> and I have bifocals. I can see the lens now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm over COVID and uh, we're finally able to get back together and uh, get out here. We're going to do a little scouting today. We were supposed to hunt yesterday and uh, unfortunately, um, my uh, fire chief of many, many years and uh, a friend of ours that we graduated high school with his, uh, passed away. His, his fa that's his father. And um, big, you know, if, you, if you've ever seen a firefighter's memorial service, huge, huge event. And it just pretty much lasted all day. So um, sometimes we just got to give up hunting to, yep. take you care know, of take care of those that, you know, take care of us. So, um, so that was that. So today we're out here. This is where we wanted to come. So we're going to do some scouting today and uh, start prepping for spring turkey season as well as finding some more sign for deer season. Deer season pretty much is done here. I think tomorrow it's still in for most of the state, which is weird. I don't know why it ends oh, on, a, it end on, Monday? on a Monday. Yesterday, no. I, I'm off tomorrow. I might yeah, you just double check it, but I'm yeah. pretty sure it said January 18th. Okay. So, but uh, uh, I have a tag for 5C, um, which is still in all next week. So I'm probably gonna head down there next Saturday, but we're gonna start scouting. We're gonna share with you what, we're, what we see, what we're looking at. Uh, um, I got Onyx on the phone, so we're going to be tracking some stuff, putting some waypoints in. We'll share what we're doing with you there. And just uh, we're going to walk around for a couple hours and see what we can find. And uh, better learn this little piece here. It's still new to me and uh, Ned's first time out here. So we're going to do this. And we're also going to scout some land that Ned's familiar with where he's been hunting, where he was chasing that deer on the ground this year. And we're going to share that to you this whole winter into the spring, getting ready for spring turkey season. So we're going to get going and we'll see you on the way. So we're at this crossroads down here and I was just showing Ned on Onyx, you know, what what I've been doing down here and what I've been seeing. We got our couple of rubs that I've shared with you on film before right down here. We're going to go down and cut in. We're going to go past where I set up the first night I sat here. We're going to cross that creek, head up to where I sat the last time, and then we're going to start scouting it back and forth, kind of work our way out this out this basin out to our like west basically and uh, see what kind of sign we can't find. It's a little bit thicker in spots there and hoping that we'll maybe we'll see some deer, maybe we'll find some turkey sign, but uh, we're gonna head down, cut in here, and we'll take you along. All right, well, we didn't have the cameras rolling, so <laughs> we're, we're just trying to kind of get down into the bottom where the creek is, but, uh, we bounced, I think it was two. Yeah, two. One kind of followed the creek. The other one kind of went up um, towards where I wanted to push back into. So we're just going to take our time nice and slow. Um, but right down here is the tree that I sat the first night in just on this side of the creek. So, I mean, that first deer jumped up probably about 25 yards away from where I was sitting. So come on down, we'll show you. Your tracks down in here crossing. It's old tracks there. Those deer were those deer were right over there on the other side of that downfall, just laying down. We're gonna cross. We'll go see if we can't find their beds. Cross up here.
They come right across the creek. Yep. Check this out, folks. So we just got across the creek, and those deer had to be laying. There's, there's droppings right by Ned's feet right there. But this is fresh deer tracks going right to the creek, coming back and forth. And those deer were bedded right in here. I mean, there's lots of sign of deer beds in here. Not sure which, which one exactly they were at, but they were in here. Here's a bed right here. This could have been one of their beds. You can see how it's all matted down and then there's a little bit of tear up going that way, which is the direction the one deer ran. So this is definitely one of the deer beds here. Look at here's hair right here. There's deer hair right here in the bed. So this is one of the beds that one of those two deer were laying in. So that's the kind of stuff when you're out here, you know, take advantage of the end of the season. Even though the hunting part of it is done, deer season is every day just getting out, learning the property. This is still new to us. And this is just as fun as coming out here and hunting them because you're getting to see where they're laying. I mean, this deer, look at what they've got here. They've got a big backdrop with this double dead fall right here small one right here to kind of back down in from the wind they're not far from water we were coming in this way so they could see us coming in and that's why they got in it up as quick as they did so you know those are the things that you want to keep in mind and then we found fresh deer hair right in this right in this bed all right we're going to work our way up to where i was sitting the last time and we're going to start scouting from there Well, we're finding sign where there's like two trails. Ned's found one there, and I'm on the trail that uh, I found you know, when I came up here last week. So um, we're finding a lot of droppings. Found an old rub down here. So we're just gonna we're gonna mosey up this way just a little bit higher, and then we're gonna start working out to the west side a little bit more. So just slowly working our way through, just trying to be quiet. See if we can see some more deer and uh, pick it apart. <laughs> hey Ned, I said there's deer tracks going up here and there's deer crap right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Just cross that little creek where you saw the deer tracks going up the side a lot of droppings there there's a ridge right behind me here we're, we're heading our way up to that so Ned and I can check that out there's some nice downfall to sit on the ground or there's a lot of good trees that you can get in with a saddle there but the other thing we're doing out here is we're looking for turkey sign for the spring and here's a little bit of turkey scratching looks pretty fresh probably a single maybe a hen just kind of working our way through here um, but you know, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to mark that on Onyx. Just that we found some scratching right here. So if, you, if you've never used Onyx before, all you're going to do is go to Tools, click on Add a Waypoint. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on More, and I'm just going to go down. And I'm gonna look for turkey. And we're just gonna we're just gonna mark that as turkey. And I'm just gonna change that to uh what do we wanna color wise? We'll just leave that red for now. And I'm gonna click and the cool thing with this is with Onyx you can actually add a photo. So we're just gonna take a photo. Okay, it's going to ask you if that's okay, and I'm going to say yes, and save. 
And now I've got my waypoint mark that we found some turkey scratch right here, and I took a picture of the actual scratching. It's pretty nice. So we're right on the edge here. It's really thick, it looks like, on this flat. We're going to sneak up through here, see what we can find. There's a, there's a bunch of rubs in here, Ned. Wow, so we've, we've got a clear cut back in here that doesn't show on Onyx. And uh, there are some, there's sign of deer, there's droppings as I'm coming out to it here, but this is really thick. Doesn't look like they took a whole lot out of it, but you can see the briars and everything here, droppings. As this grows up, this is thick cover and bedding that these deer are gonna kind of hide out in. We've got that little bit of a ridge with like a pinch point that comes, that we just came through and that goes down that way. So, and the power line's right up here. So what Ned, and I think what we're gonna do is Ned and I are gonna try and get up to the power line and try and figure out a way that would be the best way to come down into this. because we definitely don't want to come from the bottom to hunt that ridge. There's just nothing but deer droppings all the way up here. A big yep. pile of it here. I mean, I can't walk without stepping on it. Deer tracks. There's a lot of deer sign in here. Yeah, there's deer oh. stick stuff in the swamp. Yeah. I mean, this is, you figure this, uh, you know, you start spring and then as the summer goes on, all the browse that they're gonna have here. So what we did was we came up and so you can see on Onyx, this is where we're at right now at that point, right up top there. Down here is where I marked the rubs and we found all that sign. And you can see the dark topo line right here. That is the, that is the edge of that ridge and it comes back into a swale here. Here's where we found the turkey scratch. We got up onto this flat just on that ridge. And this is where we found a lot of droppings, rubs, just plenty of sign heading out to that clear cut. So we're 130 yards directly above those rubs right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this down in. There's a natural fence right over here, rock hedgerow. And we're gonna sneak in right here and see how the wind is and see how the terrain is for getting in kind of quiet there and uh, see if we can kind of mark some areas that we wanna drop down in. Play the wind because it's a northwest wind usually typically here. So if the deer are bedding over on this point where the ridge wraps around, we may have to come in just a little bit lower and set up before them and try and sneak in a little bit tight. But we're going to take this in right now because we've got a natural uh, boundary line that deer will follow and we're going to see what it looks like. We're working our way in here. You can see the, the hollow that's down below. This is that ridge line. We follow this out, we'll get right back to where we found those rubs and all that deer sign. 
But what we're thinking is we probably are going to want to come in through this hollow and work our way up to this ridge line with the wind in our face. But we heard something. Well, we, I, don't, I didn't see it, but I thought I heard something go. We'll just stay on the ridge line here and work, work our way down. This is uh, over there, somewhere. He just marked a tree. He didn't pee on it. He just marked it with a, for a tree stand on onyx. And I was moseying around, trying to find what the good area around here. Found a nice trail. Got some fresh marks on it. Going down into the stick. Kind of along a small ridge. Goes into a flat. You can see how thick it is in here. It is going to be thick in the fall. I don't even like. I don't have a desert tree stand like this. And as you know, I hunt on the ground. I would hunt probably in or under this tree here. I have never seen so much sign up here. And here's another trail. This might even be a bed. Oh, look at it all in here. Maybe this is even turkey right here. Ned went down, he's working down on the bottom of that ridge there. I just kind of marked a tree that looks like a good spot to climb with the saddle. And I looked up and I saw an old scrape with a licking branch broken. And then right above it, about another 10 yards, is this, this really nice uh, rub. And we're on this flat just over the ridge line here, which is only about 30, 40 yards from me. And it kind of opens up, gives you some good shooting opportunities. So. I'm really liking this more and more as we walk through here. But it looks great. A lot of deer sign, a lot of tracks. There's some turkey scratch right here. So we're finding sign, and that's what we want to do. We haven't covered a big area so far, but it just, this one area is loaded with a lot of sign. Ned's right over there filming. I need some turkey scratching and some good rubs, so. All right, we've got about a mile and a half, a little over that. Just kind of making a big loop, and it seems like we're concentrating in this one area where we're finding all the sign. So, I'm gonna go back, meet up with Ned, and see what he found. hiding. I would probably sit in here on the ground. I'm just moseying along when we found the remnants of a hen pheasant. What are we going to a mile and a half in? Yeah. Yeah, we're a mile and a half in and and there are no fields around. There's no fields. So. <laughs> something, something. Something grabbed it from somewhere, yep. That's pretty wild, though. You never know what you're going to find. Well, <laughs> we've been following signs of pheasant all the way out to the power line here. And uh, apparently, whatever got that pheasant was. Uh, taking it a little walk but here's a leg look at the spur on that one that is quite the spur that's pretty wild so well, we have pretty much finished what we're going to scout today we planned to spend a couple hours which we did and uh, we came out to the power line here to just kind of head back to the path and uh, 
get the ball, make it a little bit easier walking for us to head back to the truck. So we're going to head back to the truck. We'll catch up with you when we get back there. If we see anything interesting on the way, we'll share it with you. Okay, so we said if we found anything interesting, we'd show you. Follow us. <laughs> Look at that. So we got tine marks dug in here, all the way down to here again. You know, probably 22 inches from top to bottom. Broken this one off. Going right in here now. If you look here, this is, this is a basin and it starts to swale. The actual trail that we're gonna walk back to the truck is up above here, but this swales back around and it follows that ridge. And this is the flat that goes down in where we kicked those deer out when we were first walking in this morning. All right, guys, well, we made it back to the truck and uh, we're still standing, so that's two good. Two old guys made it. Made it. I'm not sure how far we walked. We'll check the track here, but I think it's over two miles for sure. Nice and easy, but a lot of sign that we saw. Marked a lot of stuff and uh, definitely going to be hunting in there next fall. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of deer. There's a lot of deer sign. Um, you know more than what what I had thought from the little bit that I was back here definitely but we really got into it today which was exciting we didn't find any sheds but we're not usually too lucky at that but no. hey thanks for hanging out with us again guys we hope you enjoyed it let us know what you're doing in the off season now are you out doing some scouting are you getting ready for turkey season are you still hunting at all uh, put it down in the comments give a like to the video we appreciate every everybody's support it helps us out tremendously here and uh, yeah that's it we're a little tired, but not bad. Nice Sunday afternoon. It's cold, but it's not that cold when we're walking. It's actually warm. Get out and do something. So we'll see you guys later. Hey, hit the subscribe, thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye.